Hi, I'm Tom Stuffin with Gould's Water Technologies. Today I want to talk to you about the K impeller that we find in the GFK non-clog wastewater pump. So today we're going to talk about some features and also some options that the contractor has with installing a panel. So let's take a look at some of the overall features of the GFK. And as you can tell, heavy duty cast iron housing with an air filled motor and heavy duty ball bearings. And you do have an oil filled seal chamber. So there's two seals in here. Your lower seal, which is a dual hard faced seal, uh, silicon carbide, silicon carbide on both faces for your lower seal. And then you also have an upper seal. So in between there is a oil filled chamber for cooling. Also standard is leak detection system and also thermal protection. Uh, last but not least is the K impeller design, which we will get into in more detail. So let's talk about some details of the K impeller design. So here is your K impeller and here is your suction cover with your guide pin and the groove. So what that does is it takes away your stringy material and eliminates that uh, through the discharge as opposed to wrapping around the impeller. So for your panel you have two basic options. Panel A would have the seal fail sensor in the panel and the thermal sensor in the panel so there would be notification of an issue with the thermal or the leak detection. Uh, panel B over here does not have those sensors um, but can still be used as an alternative. Option A would be a panel like this that has a seal fail indicator and a thermal indicator in the panel itself. So as we move up to the nomenclature here, model S325-400. So that's a simplex, three for three phase, 2.5 to four amps. And again, three phase. Important here is it's a multi-voltage panel, 208, 230, 460, 575, and we'll show how to uh, make that setting inside the panel. Let's take a look at the inside uh, of the panel. So the first thing that you will notice is, uh, this is in a box here, but uh, this is separate, and that is your mini CAS, mini control and status. So all you need to do is plug that in. So we can see the terminals here, and it only plugs in one way because there's a tab. So we've got to plug in our mini cast, mini control and status. Now let's take a look at just some of the components of the system and we'll start with voltage. And you can see here, this is a, uh, there's a multi-tap transformer here and it's very easy to change voltage. So we want to make sure that the supply voltage matches the panel voltage, which matches the pump voltage. So, and all you have to do is move this red wire to the proper voltage. And we can see now it's set for 460. Here's 575, here's 230, and there's 208. So all you have to do is move one wire to match the voltage to the incoming voltage and your pump voltage. So they should all be the same. So at the top left, you can see there's my line one, line two, line three power coming in. And here is where I would set my overload setting, right? Because I, I need to uh, provide my pump with overload protection. And I do have the ability to, to disconnect power and turn power on. And I also have the ability to lock this tab right here, pushing this in, which prevents someone from turning it on at this point. Going through my contactor to T1, T2, T3, which is my, the torque side, which is my pump side. So that's my output. Here's the, the power cord, or at least uh, part of a power cord, that we just need to talk about and identify 
what cable is is what. So um, let's start uh, one at a time here. So we could tell this is my ground. I'm going to pull that back. And uh, this cable back here is not used. So we don't have to worry about that. And now that leaves us with five leads. So I could, you could tell here there's a T1 and a T2. So those are my sensors. I don't, at this point in time, I don't really know which one's leak detection and which one is thermal, but I know those are for my sensors. And then that leaves, uh, that leaves us with three power cables. All right, so this goes to T1, T2, and 3, and just like any three-phase uh, pump, you just wire it up and you need to check the rotation uh, to make sure they have the proper rotation. And how do I do that? Well, it's at the end of the day, it's the best flow and head is the correct rotation. Uh, if we've identified that it is going in the reverse rotation, uh, I just changed any two leads on the output or the pump side here. So now we have to identify T1, T2. We know these are the sensor wires. One is thermal and the other is leak detection, seal leak detection. So we got to refer to the manual. So we're looking at the IOM installation manual for the GFK. So I'm going to open up the page. And I find it here, in this case on page 10, I can see information on the thermal contact and on the LD. So in this case, I've got both. I've got thermal and I've got leak detection. And it's telling me that T1 goes to thermal and T2 is my leak detection. So T1 thermal, T2 leak detection. So now I've discovered with the IOM of the pump that T1 is my thermal and T2 is my leak detection. I now need to identify on my panel with my wiring diagram, 9 and 10, I only have two terminals, which one is thermal and which one is leak detection. So I look down here on the bottom and I see 9, terminal 9, is thermal and terminal 10 is leak detection. So putting everything together, T1 is my thermal, that's going to go to 9. T2 is my leak detection, that's going to go to 10. Option B is a panel like this, and this panel does not have your thermal sensor detection and your leak detection. So obviously a uh, lower cost option for a panel like this. So we're looking at the control panel KS31255 simplex three phase 1.25 to 5 amps. And again it's multi-voltage so we've got to make sure that we wire this and it's only going to be one wire to the proper voltage again making sure it's equal to the supply voltage, which is equal to the pump voltage. So you change the voltage with your H wire. You can tell here it's the one with a sticker on it, uh, but in this case there are no voltage ratings. It's H1, H2, and H3. So now we've got to go to the manual to identify um, what my proper voltage is. Okay, so in order to identify the H wire and where do I place that in order to make sure my panel voltage matches my supply voltage, I've got to get into the manual. So we can see here, here's my H terminals. H3 is 208 volt, H2 is 240, and H1 is 480. Let's review the voltage again with our panel. Uh, has not been changed. We can see the H wire is on H1, and that would be set for 480. 
So moving over here on the top is my L1, L2, and L3 coming in. Going down, this is where I would set my overload. Open this up, and I want to set my overload properly because, as we know, three-phase motors do not have overload protection. So our overload is in the panel, and it must be set properly to protect your pump. So again, like the other panel, we have the ability to uh, turn it off and turn it on. And while it's off, you also have the ability to lock it here so I cannot turn it, turn it back on. And on the output side is all the way on the bottom, and that would be your T1, T2, and T3. Again, that's output to the pump. And then lastly, uh, we'll just do a quick review of the control board. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is nicely labeled with your floats, stop or off, start or on float, and your alarm float. And you've got your HOA switch here and some indicators of alarm power and control power and pump run and your fuses, which are uh, easy to get to and easy to replace. In summary, the GFK has the K impeller, and really the K impeller offers the best of both worlds. The efficiency of a non-clog and uh, drastically reduced uh, clogging as well. Why? Because of the K design impeller. The other option that the contractor has is two di different options for panels. Uh, again, panel A that we talked about uh, takes advantage of the leak detection and the thermal sensor that comes standard in the pump. Uh, or option B does not have those sensors um, and gives you another option for controlling the pump. Thanks for watching and learning a little bit more about the new K impeller on the GFK series pumps. To learn more, you can go to goulds.com and download information or give us a call at any time.